Hi, welcome to this hands on session on Snowflake. I am Aliza Tanbeer and in this video you will learn how to create different type of views in Snowflake. Views allow the users to access the result of a query as though the results were in a table. Views can thus be thought of as a name reference to a query. After creating a new notebook, we will start by creating a new warehouse. I am going to call it prod underscore excel and the size of the warehouse is going to be extra large. You can select any other size that you want. Then I will select the database and the schema to work into which I want to have create the views for the present table. We will start by creating a view for the orders table in which we are going to add only those orders where the priority is urgent and all the data will be stored in the view. Run the query and your view with urgent orders will be created. Let's have a look at the view by selecting the record from the view and we are going to limit the rows to 10. Let's run it. The view seems fine for now with all the data. Next, I will create a materialized view. The materialized views persist the data on your disk. Mostly you will create a materialized view only if it is going to contain an aggregated or transformed data. Here I am creating a materialized view called aggregated orders inside which you have an aggregate SQL statement which is counting the number of orders and displaying the order status and date of only the urgent orders. Once your view is created, have a look at it by running a select query and limiting the number of rows to 10. Upon executing the query, you will have the view containing the count and the order status and date of order. Now I will create a secured materialized view. In the same way I created a materialized view, I am going to use the secure keyword instead of materialized with the view name and I am going to view the view. Now I will add clustering keys to both of my views. A clustering key is a subset of columns in a table that are explicitly designated to co-locate the data in table in the same micropartition. I will alter both views and cluster it on the basis of a particular column like order date. You can verify this by navigating to your database and inside the view, hover over each of the view to see its type. And this is how you can create different type of views in Snowflake. That is all for this video. Thank you.